is reckless. It's continuously driving in the left lane without passing. It's impeding flow of traffic. Hey, sir, I'm Trooper Brown, Arkansas State Police. Reason I'm stopping you, continuously driving in the left lane. Yes, because you're sure off on the accident earlier. Each driver's license and registration. Those people behind me traveling with you? No, sir. No? No, uh, man, he's, he's been on my ass since uh, before Batesville, honestly. Okay, well, you've been and called I'm... in as a reckless driver as well. I don't know if you're aware of that. Some people have been saying you've been all over the road. What's going on today? Nothing on Working? Yeah, I carry lab work from Little Rock to, uh, well, today I'm carrying it from Salem, Arkansas. Back to Little Rock. It's in the truck. Lab work? Yes, sir. Like, what, blood? Yes, sir. You're right. Uh, blood work. I mean, you know, real simple stuff. Okay. Uh, restriction. Mr. Shamblin, I'll be right back with you. I've stopped him for impeding the flow of traffic, continuously driving in the left lane. He's got some drug history. I'm trying to look right now to see if he is a probationer or anything with a search waiver on file. If that's the case, probably go ahead and get him out, do a quick search. Might do some field sobriety just based off of the uh, collar that I just let go. He, his statements, he was all over the road and stuff. He touched the yellow line a couple of times while I was watching him. We might do some field sobriety and maybe see if he's DWI drugs or something, but uh, we look real quick to see if he's a probation or anything with search waiver on file. He says he's working. He is a parolee. He does have a search waiver on file, so I would suggest getting him out and doing a quick search of the car and make sure he's okay to drive. Possible, possible DWI drugs. I don't know. I didn't observe. I didn't observe the driving too much. Do what? You want in front of the vehicle? It, wherever you want, man. Right. What are you doing, big dog? Size 
let me catch those wrecks at the end of my shift. <laughs> like, man, why are those guys driving around Hever? So what's the deal with Ken? He got called in as reckless. He's got he's a parolee, search waiver on file. Um, he's got some drug history. Just want to make sure he's okay to drive, not DWI drugs. He tell you kind of what's going on, man. Uh, so I noticed you're a parolee with search waiver on file, all right? You got some prior drug history. I want to make sure that you're okay to drive. You're not yeah. DWI drugs or anything like no, that. Sir. You have any weapons on you or anything? Uh, I noticed that knife hanging up there in that rear view I mean, mirror. I mean, there, there's a bunch of knives. Yeah, you got some simul simultaneous possession of drugs and yeah. firearms, there's explosives no, and all that. There's no uh, This is the first time I'm legitimately asking, is there grenades in your car? No, sir. No, no bazookas? Uh, no, sir. All right. And I laugh because, man, it's it's been ongoing since I was 17. Yeah. I mean, man, what I kind of explosives anymore. were you dealing with? That, that was back in, like, 2002. All it was was a blast. Yeah. Really? That's it. There yeah. was no explosives. I mean, I grew up in the country. Why don't you step over here for me so we ain't by the road, man? I mean, I grew up in the country. We, we blew stumps up this shit. Okay. So, I mean, there was no explosives either. All right. Um, can you put your cigarette out for me? Oh, yeah. Well, I'll just pat it down, check real quick. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Turn around right there. We'll pat it down. Take your pockets, pull them inside out for me, and place all that stuff on the trunk. All right, got anything in that butt pocket? Nope. Okay, dope. Can't pull that one inside out, can you? No, they don't come inside out. You want to have a seat in my bumper for me? Sure. All right, we're going to go through this real quick. Right there. Uh, you can grab and put it back in your pockets. You got a praying mass right there on your leg, and that's sweet. Yeah. Got your friend. That's why you don't get room on the back of the door. <laughs> Any way I can get a light? No, no, not a smoker. Not. You got a lighter in there? Yeah. We'll get that for you. Hey, uh, the trunk. If y'all want to get in it, I mean, all you got to do is hit the button on the underneath the lip. Okay. Yeah, that, that one should work. <laughs> the old torch lighter. Thanks, sir. Oh, blasting calf, huh? Where'd you find that at? We do guys that work on the railroad. Yeah, in, uh, red yeah that's, that's a legitimate thing. You know what they use them for in the railroad? Clear and white? No. I mean, <laughs> they actually used uh, blasting caps back in the day on the railroad. They'd set them on the rail. I, I actually used to work as a conductor at BNSF. Uh, yeah, smaller ones. Yeah. They'd set them on the rail. And the train would run it over, and that blast would actually give them an alert. Of the, and I'm not talking like anything big. I don't know what size you had. But uh, they've actually set blasting caps on the rail. Okay, so I'm going to read you your Miranda rights real quick, okay? You have the right to remain silent. Anything, anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to speak to an attorney, have an attorney present during any questioning. If you yes, can't sir. afford to hire an attorney, we can appoint one for you at the government's expense. Yes, sir. You understand those rights? Yes, I'll read them to you. All right, you can stop answering any questions at any time. What are you doing with methamphetamine in your car, man? I, I, honestly, I didn't even know shit. I would you I Don't y'all think I would have hit it? I mean, probably at least. I mean, you said, you said you're working today and yes, all sir. this stuff is yours in the car, correct? Yes, sir. Well, I mean, why, where else would the methamphetamine come from? 
Come on, man. Don't, 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 don't play this game. I got it in my hand right here. It's yeah. not like you do. Obviously, because I'm the only one in the car. I mean, he's... You're the only one in the car? I mean, wait. Let me ask you this. Were you were you hitting or anything while you're going down the road? No. Let me ask you this. Can you Would you test positive on a drug test right now for methamphetamine if I was to drug test you right now? Probably so. Yeah? Yes, sir, but that is not. So you would test positive. That ain't fine. You'd test positive for meth right now if I was to drug test you? Yes, sir. I mean, you know, you're telling me? Let me ask you this. Is this laced with pentanol at all? For safety reasons, it would, you know, I don't want to die from fentanyl overdose. It's got I'm all laced man. It's already in my hand, and it's already it, Listen. I want to know, for safety reasons, does this have does fentanyl in it? It's not going to change anything other than the fact that it's safer for me to hold it. You would suspect there would be? located at? West 12th Street in Little Rock. Little Rock? Yes, sir. And you're coming from Blyville? No, sir. Uh, Fulton Bates. County Hospital. Or, I'm sorry, ba Batesville? Salem. Salem? Fulton County Hospital. Okay. Yes, sir. How much is there? you'd like it. Pretty brown. Uh, I haven't weighed it. It's, it's good little rocks. It's probably, it's probably more than 10 pounds. Hang on. Let me ask. All right, so from your professional experience, how many grams would you say that is roughly? I mean, you, you're a prior user. Just, just a guess, man. Say 10 grand, more than 10? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I really don't. Yeah, come on, don't tell me grab me, man. It looks like more than that. Yeah, you think it looks more than 10? I mean, there's some big rocks, dude. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, there it is, but I don't know. Is that what you want to say? If it's mine, I'm going to tell you exactly what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm going to just check it out. All right, no worries. Like, if we just take it out for us, we'll go out. Yeah, it's, it's got to be more than 10 grams, buddy. Turn around. Um, seven to four. Sixty-nine cushion is the word be out with. If he would have Frank take three one eight eight. Yeah, that works. Hey, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Uh, Oh, 
Yeah. We're just going to do an instant report on it. Oh. oh, homeboy gets the credit. Are, are you off? Well, I know you're off. I don't care at this point. I'm, I'm passed off now. It's uh, yours then. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. We'll go 10, 15, take them. You can do the paperwork, get DPF. That works. Uh, we'll handle the rest of that. Are you cool with that? Yes, 100%. I mean, unless he needs the experience, I understand. No, that. he's already done felony drug arrest, so it's not a problem. I was trying to get you back to the house. No. Nah. It's the only reason I, I thought we were taking him. No, he's already done a full case file with Robbie. Okay. And I'll go over the process of what you're going to do with it. Cool. We think that is probably 20 grand. Oh, yeah. That, that's that's heavy. Yeah. It's at least. And I guarantee there's probably a little bit more in there or something, some paraphernalia. I'm going to go ahead and take that lighter as well. Maybe I can find a pipe. Yeah, I'm about to look good. See Lane right there in the pasture seat. Was it underneath this thing? I was right there. He, he just, just he pulled it out. Go ahead and give me that lighter, he said. You know, Dwight, there should be a pipe in here somewhere with all the lighters that he's got. No, I know he's got more in here than what we just found. Like he's got keys and all kind of stuff. stuff, 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 stuff. Here's a glasses case that's suspiciously placed underneath the driver's seat. That's him. <laughs> Not for sure if he's there. He's more concerned about the knives. Mountain Dew. Huh? The Mountain Dew? Yeah, I almost twist the bottle to make sure they're actually a bottle. I think that's a spoon. And put that rubber on it. Between 
Pete, be careful and watch the needles, man. I haven't seen a pipe, so that indicates needles. I, uh, I just started getting into here, and I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go get some gloves on before I dig first. Yeah. <laughs> yelling at us. No, sir. One may have come from a different batch. It's a different color. Yeah. Where's the, is that the rock you picked up? Yeah, that's what I found underneath the seat. might just be a crystal, but I ain't chancing it. As far as towing? Yeah. Cersei. I don't know if Simons and they want him to be working with on his own. Oh, I don't either yeah. for the most part. But yeah, this is Cersei. I think uh, after the 51 is Judd and Bald Knob area. Uh, south of the 35, south of the 35 is BB zones. Most of the time, dispatchers are able to tell us. He even texted me today and asked me to work with him on it. And I was like, yeah, I will, but I don't know if he's on it myself. 2044. Stuff pretty good. Can I get the next record? Huh? I bet I found five lighters in the back seat. Four lighters. 
Did he have his phone on him for the jail? He got his phone in his pocket. Remember? They saw they saw in the trunk. Yeah. The one on his wallet, I guess. Yeah, Shamlin. He yeah. might want that. Yeah. Go to the jail with him. All right, you're good. We'll wait on record. Man, you can. Uh, I'll go put that in the evidence locker, and I'm play the airplane game and take off. Here's his license. He's asking about that lab work that he's got in the back of the trunk. Should I tell him just go pick it up for the record? Yeah, I just listed on the top slip uh, medical equipment. Okay. They. Okay, there's the ID and here's his uh, wallet. We'll do his tow slip up on it. We got a record on the way. I'm going to take it for him being the low traffic, continuously driving the left lane. This is my PC. Get your ticket so you can get out of here. You already left